When the time comes, would I trade in my 370Z for a Nissan GTR? What is going on guys? I was about to start this video and leave the house, but I just remembered I gotta show you guys something. Okay, so if you guys remember like a couple videos back real quick before we get into the topic of the video I talked about the clutch problem that I had and even last video you guys were asking how it was How to drive to Miami, which by the way pretty sketchy But you guys were asking how it was how to drive to Miami if I was able to do the clutch um, work that I was supposed to do well guys finally clutch flywheel and the heavy duty slave cylinder just came in. So I'm super excited. Just wanna show you guys that they're here, everything arrived good. The slave cylinder arrived like three days ago and the clutch literally just arrived today, so pretty excited, but that's probably gonna be next video. Until then, wish me luck, I'm gonna get stranded. Let's start the vlog. I can feel the clutch just dying on me. <laughs> that's like the perfect day to go out, guys. 70 degrees, chilly, the sun is out, but it's not too, oh god, no, oh my gosh, but it's not too bad, and that's what we're making like a sit and talk video, I feel like I just have to, like after last video, I, I just have to make a video like this. So guys, you can see different outfit because it's currently day two that I'm making this video. Last time, weirdly enough, right over there, five police officers with K9 units. Yeah, very weird. I didn't just want to pull out the camera video. What's going on, guys? When they have freaking K9 units out, so let's see the next day. <sighs> when the time comes, would I trade in my 370Z for a Nissan GTR? Let's talk about that. So in case you guys missed the last video that I made, I actually went ahead and drove a Nissan GTR. That video is doing amazing, so shout out to you guys for showing that video so much love. You guys know how much it means to me to be able to drive my dream car. But anyways, I first just want to start out, to be honest with you guys, I first just want to start out by saying that the GTR, it's a complete different animal. I mean, you got four wheel drive, you got like over 100 more horsepower, over 100 torque, like it's just completely different monster than the 370Z to be honest with you guys I always imagine how it would feel like but after driving it and just being in it taking hard turns and all that even better than I thought it was gonna be even though I'm over hyping it and all that I'm just gonna get straight to the point no I, w I wouldn't trade in the 370Z for the GTR when the time comes I mean even though I'm gonna have a GTR I would still want real wheel, real wheel drive I can't even speak real wheel drive and just the handling of a 370Z. Even though GTR does have a little bit better handling, the 370Z is just something really, really special and unique. And guys, like, how am I gonna train in Britney? Like, she's the star of the channel. Like, come on, bros, come on. I just feel like I wouldn't be able to. Like, I physically, even if I did want to, I wouldn't be able to trade this car in. Like, there's so much meaning and history, and I just can't. I don't think I can. But yeah, guys, Britney staying on the channel, no worries. And then when the time comes, like 20 or 30 years from now, hopefully it's not that long, I'm just kidding. The GTRs is going to be her sister or brother. I still got to think about that. That pretty much answers the question as to what I traded in when the time comes. Uh, yeah, no. Actually, something I really want to ask you guys, please comment down below. What looks better, the 370Z or the GTR and why? The reason why I'm asking this, when I came home and I showed my parents pictures of the GTR and actually everybody, I mean, the, my parents and all that. And they saw the video, they were like, Danny, even though that car's worth like 100 or 80 or whatever, the 370Z looks better. And I was like, what? And then that got me thinking. And I agree with that. Here's why. To the average Joe, when you look at a GTR, it's much bigger and there's really nothing special to it. Now, when you look at the 370Z, you got this, well, that's aftermarket, but even the Nismo, okay, let's say I don't have the wing. It just looks more aggressive, it looks smaller, it actually looks like a race car rather than the GTR, which doesn't really look like a race car. All right, I was talking to the camera and there's a cop that's coming by right now. He just said hi. Whew. Back to the topic. From somebody that doesn't know much about cars, you look at them both and 
the 370 is probably gonna catch more of their attention. Now, if you know more about cars or know what a GTR is, if you put them next to each other, most likely the the person's gonna say no, the GTR looks better. But I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Let me know. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and head home. I just wanted to make this little update video and like just to clear everything up after last video because a lot of you were probably wondering and were asking about what I was gonna do after driving it. To be honest with you guys, it was amazing. Like, it was such an amazing experience. If you haven't checked out that video, I'm gonna put it somewhere up there. But yeah, I can't wait. Honestly, I cannot, have, I cannot wait to have R01 GTR in the channel. That's gonna be insane. Like when I when I'm able to do that, bros, that's that's how you know we we're doing good. But yeah, if you haven't already, make sure you guys like, subscribe. Thank you so much for the support, bros. Share the channel with somebody, at least one of your friends, two of your friends. Let's keep growing. But yeah, new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Don't forget that next video, fingers crossed, is gonna be us installing the clutch. Should be actually really fun, and we're gonna learn a lot. Dang, I can't wait for that. Expect videos like I said every Tuesday and Friday. Um, and yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say. Check out the last video that I posted. Uh, and yeah, we'll see you guys next time.